for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys 10 of my all-time favorite beauty products. These are products that I just cannot live without and they're part of my everyday life pretty much. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. If you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you know every time I post a new video and you won't miss out. So now that the awkward plug is out of the way, uh, let's get started on my favorite products. The first product is my favorite eyeshadow primer. It's Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've been using this for so many years since I was in college and I've never strayed away from it. It's never stopped working. My eyeshadow used to get oily and smear all the time, but with this, it never does. I love this so much and I don't think I will ever find another eyeshadow primer. If something works, I just stick with it. Second product is my Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I've also been using this since college and it just really works my eyelashes. This is the waterproof one and what I notice with other mascaras is that after I curl my lashes and apply it, my lashes just droop. They don't hold the curl but with the Falsies mascara it holds the curl all day. My third favorite is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I used to just use drugstore eyelash curlers and didn't think anything of it because I just never thought they made a difference. It's all the same, right? But when I got this, it was just such a game changer. I don't know what it is, but it just curls my lashes even more than I thought they could ever curl. It made such a huge difference. My fourth favorite are these two eyeliners. So the Kat Von D used to be my absolute favorite, the tattoo liner that is the, um, it's the brush tip. This was my holy grail pretty much, but Karen actually told me about this Asian eyeliner from Dolly Wink and I've fallen in love with this even more. The reason I decided to get the Dolly Wink liner and might retire the Kat Von D one is because the Kat Von D one I find dries out really quickly, too quickly. I don't know what it is, but eventually the brush just doesn't work as well and I found that lately I've had to replace this more frequently than usual. These are pretty much the same price. Um, I think the Dolly Wink is a little bit cheaper, like a couple dollars cheaper. I only started using Dolly Wink a few days ago and I know this video is supposed to be like my all-time beauty favorites, but these eyeliners are so similar in terms of application. I just love the way they apply. It gives me that very black eyeliner look that I like, but Dolly Wink is the clear winner for me. Next is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and the brush that comes with it, or that you should buy with it. I just did an eyebrow tutorial on this, so if you want to watch it, I will leave the link down below. But this, definitely a game changer for me. I love this so much. It does take a bit more time than other eyebrow products to apply but I think it's totally worth it. This lasts all day for me through sweat and through sweat. <laughs> it lasts all day versus eyebrow pencils or other powders that I've used. Other powders and pencils, what happens is that sometimes I'll find like the edge of my eyebrows kind of rubbing off, but with this, it just lasts all day and I never carry this with me anywhere because I don't need to. With eyebrow pencils, I have to bring that with me to touch up. Maybe in some very extreme cases where I know I'm going to be doing a shit ton of stuff, I don't know, shit ton of activity, but day to day, I don't need to carry this anywhere. My next beauty product is probably an obvious favorite, but it's the Beauty Blender. This right here is pretty much all I use now. I don't like brushes. I hate using my hands. I love the Beauty Blender. It just works amazingly. Is that a word? I think it's a word. <laughs> I honestly think this is one of the best beauty inventions ever. It's just so good. It's just made applying foundation so much better. If you've ever wondered if you should try this, you should try it for sure. It just gives you a very natural finish when you apply your foundation and oh, I don't know, I just, I really love this product. <laughs> Next is this Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. I bring this with me everywhere because I get super duper oily. I do have combination skin though, which sucks. Uh, but when I get oily, I get super oily and this just helps with all the oiliness. If you get oily skin throughout the day, I would highly recommend you give this a try. These last three products are actually not makeup items, but I consider them to be beauty products because they help me overall with maintaining my look, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and I think that these would be really helpful tips for you guys too. So I wanted to put them in this video. The first one, crest white strips. I get comments about my teeth being white, maybe sometimes a little 
too white and that's because I use Crest white strips. These are not things I use every day. No, <laughs> you don't want to use these every day. Um, but I started using these when I was in, I think, high school. I used to have such horrible crooked teeth and I had to get braces for quite some time. And after I removed them, I was still really insecure about my teeth because I have some pretty big chompers. It was something I was always very insecure about and because my teeth are so big and if they're big and they're yellow, it, it just made me really uncomfortable. So I one day decided to give Crest White Strips a try and it made such a huge difference. I don't use these that often. Every once in a while when I feel like they're losing some of the white or the shine, I just wear them for a day or two and that's pretty much all I need. These last me for quite a while. The ones that I use are the ones you put on for 30 minutes and then you take them off. Crest White Strips are much cheaper than all the new alternatives that I've seen, uh, but if you have really sensitive teeth, this might not be for you. I wouldn't say my teeth are that sensitive, so these are okay for me, except one time I did fall asleep sleep with them on so I had them for a few hours that was the biggest mistake ever never fall asleep with these on because I remember my teeth hurting so badly I would be walking and the wind would blow and it would hurt my teeth but I have a friend who's in dental school and I asked him if these are safe for your teeth and he said that they were so I think these are okay but again if you have really sensitive teeth I would shy away from this if you think you have a higher tolerance then I would just really recommend this then I have Aquaphor, and Aquaphor is amazing. My lips get really dry. I don't think I drink enough water, and I'm really trying hard to work on that, but anytime my lips get really dry, I just put on Aquaphor over my lips um, before I go to sleep, and when I wake up, they're just so much more moisturized, and it makes for really good chapstick. I carry this with me everywhere. When I have dry lips, it sucks, and I'm in so much pain. I think it's a sign that I need to drink more water and get more hydrated, but I also use this for, like, if I pop a pimple, and it's really dry and it needs to heal I'll also put this on the pimple for a couple nights and I feel like it helps heal the pimple a little bit faster I can't say for sure but that's just what I've noticed on myself and it's also really great for if you have dry skin or dry patches it just really helps for that the last thing on my list is something I cannot live without ever and it might come as a surprise to you but it is this little bottle right here this is dry salt and it is prescribed deodorant when I was in middle school I had a huge sweat problem I think I still would if I didn't use this I would just sweat so much it sucked like it made me so self-conscious I would have pit stains and it was just disgusting and I would feel so gross and abnormal and I thought I was the only one who had this issue my dad was the one who actually noticed and um, had me go to the doctor for it which I'm so thankful for because I think I got the sweat problem from him I don't I've never noticed my brother or sister have this problem I cannot live without this it's prescribed deodorant so of course you need a prescription for it. This stuff is pretty strong. I remember when I first started using it, I had really rashy, itchy, burning armpits. Um, since it was recommended by a doctor, I just trusted in it, but I did do some light research on it, and I don't think there are any crazy side effects aside from skin irritation. But this honestly has changed my life because my armpits just sweat very easily, and it's just the most uncomfortable thing ever. I know like we're all supposed to embrace our bodies and and whatnot, but I just, that's one thing, I just, I hate that feeling, like, <laughs> this might be TMI for some of you guys, but there might also be others out there who would really want to know about this. I'm very thankful a product like this exists, because drugstore um, deodorants and antiperspirants did not work for me. You never sweat. You will never sweat in your armpits when you're using this. Never put this anywhere else, because I just cannot imagine how uncomfortable that would be. I say that because when I was younger, I used to put deodorant on my face, which is stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I thought deodorant would help me stop sweating all over. I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I going to put that in the video? <sighs> Whatever. I was young and dumb and stupid. But anyway, those are my 10 beauty products that I cannot live without. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and maybe got some ideas of products that you want to try or need to try. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your holy grail products are or if you think there are better products than the ones that I've listed because I would love to know if there are better products out there that I should be using. All the products mentioned in this video will of course be linked in the description box, so please check there if you want more info on where to find these and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I would super appreciate it and again if you're not a subscriber and you want to see more videos from me then please hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye
pose for the camera now. Click, 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 click. Do you guys know where that song's from? Beyonce? I'm one of these YouTubers now. Holding products. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I need to get a good, good thumbnail. How many products can I hold in my hand? Sure, one of them's gonna make it.